we're going to be looking at the forces acting inside the nucleus. Because neutrons and protons have mass, they will exert a gravitational force on each other. But because neutrons have no charge, there's no electrostatic force between neutrons and protons and neutrons in the nucleus. However, if we look at the forces between protons in the nucleus, because the protons have mass, they'll experience a gravitational force between each other that will attract them. But they'll also experience a repulsive electrostatic force due to them having the same positive charge. Now, are these forces balanced? We'll use this data to first find the electrostatic force. So we're considering the two protons are one femtometer apart and a femto is 10 to the minus 15. We'll use Coulomb's law to determine the electrostatic force. If we substitute in the values, we get an electrostatic force of 230 newtons, which is a massive force between two very small protons. Now use Newton's law of gravitation to determine gravitational force between the two protons and if we substitute in the values we get a gravitational force in the order of 10 to the minus 34 newtons. So you can see that the gravitational force is negligible compared to the electrostatic force. If only these two forces acted between the protons in the nucleus then the protons would be repelled and would not be able to stay within the nucleus. So how are protons confined in the nucleus? Well, there must be another force acting in the nucleus, which is as strong as the electrostatic force. But this force must be attractive in that it holds the protons together. And this force is known as the strong nuclear force. And this force actually holds all the nucleons together, so it acts equally between protons and neutrons. This force is very short range in that it only acts between neighbouring nucleons. So it's attractive up to three femtometers. But it has to be repulsive below approximately half a femtometer in order to avoid nucleons collapsing within each other inside the nucleus. The strong nuclear force is believed to arise from quarks and so the strong nuclear force only acts on hadrons, that is particles that contain quarks.